welcome to Lesson 7 of The Violin Method for Beginners by Poppy Violin Studio. I'm Jamie, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and quarter notes on your E string. When you start playing with your bow on the string, you want to know three tips. The first tip is that you want to keep your bow straight, and this means that you're going to keep your bow parallel to the bridge. Do this. Don't do this. In order to play with straight bow on the string, make sure to keep your wrist flexible and your elbow loose. If one of these two things is locked, it makes it much harder to keep the bow straight. Now loose wrist, loose elbow. Much easier. Tip number two. Keep your bow in one place on the string. You can play with your bow on the string anywhere between the bridge and the end of the fingerboard. When you're first starting out though, it is best to stay in what I call the middle lane. And this is about even with the top of the F holes here. So this would be the middle lane. You want to avoid changing lanes when you are playing. So don't allow the bow to shift and go into other lanes like this. And certainly you do not want the bow to go over the fingerboard. If your bow is straight, it's much easier for you to stay in one lane. Tip number three is to think about how much bow you are using when you're playing different rhythms. The flower rhythms that we learned in the previous lessons include quarter notes, which are going to be using more bow because they last the longest, eighth notes, which are about half as long, and sixteenth notes, which are the smallest. Let me demonstrate with sixteenth notes for honeysuckle rhythm so you can see what I mean. In the second example, things got a little bit out of control because I was using bows that were too big. So think about how much bow you're using in the following exercises. Now I'm going to give you a chance to play your eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and quarter notes on the violin by using some exercises from the Violin Method for Beginners. When first starting out, it can be challenging to keep your bow straight and to use the right amount of bow. This is normal. Just be patient and keep practicing and eventually you'll be able to keep your bow straight and to use the right amount of bow for each of these rhythms. Here's our first rhythm. Rest, 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 rest. Join me this time. Start in rest position, go into playing position, place your bow on your E string by making a windshield wiper like we did in lesson four when you learn the bow hold. When your elbow is at a right angle, your bow will most likely touch the string around the middle of the bow. That's where you want to start for these exercises. Be sure your bow is in the middle lane on the string and your bow is straight. Poppy, poppy, here we go. Rest, 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 the end. On to our next rhythm. Rest, 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 your turn, go into playing position, windshield wiper your bow onto your E string, be in the middle lane with straight bow and a 90 degree angle on your right elbow. Honeysuckle, honeysuckle, here we go. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 the end. Now on to sunflower. Rest, 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 rest. Join me this time. Go into playing position. Bow on E string and the middle lane with straight bow. Right elbow at a 90 degree angle. Sunflower, sunflower, here we go. Rest, 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 the end. Last, we have rose rhythm. Rest, 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 rest. Join me this time. Go into playing position. Place your bow on E string, straight bow, one, two, rows, go. Rest, 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 r
rest, 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 the end. Now you know how to play eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and quarter notes on your violin. In the description below, there are links for all of the videos in this playlist where you'll find all the previous lessons, if you haven't seen those yet and you didn't really know what I was talking about today, you can find them down there. Also in the description below, there's a link for The Violin Method for Beginners, book one. And you're going to want to get that book if you don't already have it, because there's extra bonus material that we're going to get to in lesson 13 that you only have access to if you have the book. So make sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in lesson eight.